Netflix's Valentine's special was all we could ever wish for, a glimpse into the world of Stranger Things. The new trailer of season four has already been viewed by millions, but many have missed several clues. Welcome to Riveted, where we'll be breaking down the details of everything you may have missed. For a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card, like the video and comment with a hidden clue we may have missed. Number 10, Chernobyl. The new teaser trailer is titled From Russia With Love, and the set looks pretty power plant-esque, so it's obvious that we'll see a lot of Russia in season four. The teaser opens with a wide shot of a winter wasteland, specifically in Kamchatka, Russia, and the camera gradually zooms in on a military-style encampment, with guards in Soviet uniforms and dogs patrolling the grounds. Previously, fans had speculated that Stranger Things had something to do with Chernobyl, and it looks like the speculations may be right. One Reddit user theorized that each season so far has been set around a different season in consecutive years. Season 1 was Winter 1983, Season 2, Autumn 1984, and Season 3 was Summer of 1985. If this pattern follows, then Season 4 could be set up in Spring of 1986 when the Chernobyl disaster happened. And given that it looks like we'll be in Russia with Hopper, the theory that Season 4 could involve the famous nuclear disaster seems to make a lot of sense. The Duffer Brothers Netflix sci-fi series Stranger Things has taken inspiration from both fictional works, most notably Stephen King's stories and real-life elements that are quite obscure, such as Project MKUltra. Given that the Russians are not fooling around with their work and are conducting big and dangerous experiments with the Upside Down, one of these could go terribly wrong and cause the fourth reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant to explode. Number 9. Hopper is Alive Stranger Things ended Season 3 by breaking everyone's heart by killing off Jim Hopper who gallantly sacrificed himself to close the door to the Upside Down. At least we were led to believe that. However, every clue from the beginning hinted that Jim Hopper is still alive. Hidden in the back of the first announcement teaser video, fans noticed what looked like Jim Hopper's cabin lit up by a lamp outside. The cabin was seen a lot through Season 2 and 3 as where Hopper and Eleven live. The assumption was that Jim Hopper is still alive, and the new teaser has confirmed this allegation. In the trailer, Hopper is sporting a very closely shaved head, which they make a point of showing us. Hopper takes off his hat when the camera reaches him, despite lots of very cold snow, and as a result, fans have theorized that Hopper may have had some sort of procedure to wipe his memory. Showing that Jim Hopper is still alive seems a bit premature as it ruins the reveal the viewers probably would have gotten in the first episode of Season 4. The only thing we are not sure about is whether Jim Hopper will be good or evil. Eleven will get back her powers, number 8. But what's Stranger Things without a telekinetic Eleven? Of course, the preteen will get her powers back in Season 4, but the only question is, how? We don't have the answer for that yet, but we can guess the why. Eleven will get her powers back and will restore Hopper's memory and eventually reunite him with the rest of the Hawkins crew. We still don't know how the crew will land in Russia, but we are assuming that they have to get to Russia at some point. The showrunners have to be very careful with the idea of the children going to Russia because it would be very illogical to just pack them up and put them in a plane headed to Russia. Well, Jim Hopper will probably have to do most of the fighting alone. However, there's a leaked episode list which tells us more about the crew. The leaked episodes list hinted that most of the cast would be separated in Season 4, which makes sense given that Hopper is in Russia, a lot of the kids are in Hawkins, and the buyers are somewhere else in the United States after their move. The separated cast also hinted in the Duffer's press release, which sets up the show to go back and forth between what's happening in Russia and what's happening in America. The leaked episodes list also revealed that the title of Episode 8 in Season 4 is Together Again, which means that the Stranger Things crew will get back together. One fan also leaked the first page of the script for the Season 4 premiere, there isn't much to learn from the page except that most of the characters won't be in Season 4, Episode 1. The page lists Mike, Nancy, Lucas, and Dustin in the first episode, but where's Hopper, the Byers, and Eleven? Well, fans speculate that because Hopper is in Russia and the Byers and Eleven have moved out of Hawkins, the characters won't reunite in the first episodes, and that most of the old crew will be reintroduced in Episode 2. Number 7, A Fallen Tree One thing we know about Stranger Things is that we can never take anything for granted. Even the slightest details always play a vital role in the story. If you look closely in the new trailer, you will notice that there's something that looks like a fallen tree or a line of some sort. The two guards in the background stand beside it as Hopper appears to notice something strange. Could it be that a strange force knocked down the tree? There has to be an explanation why there is the line or the tree in the trailer. Number 6. The Monsters Are Back According to a statement made by the Duffer Brothers, the fourth season will explore Jim Hopper's battle to make do in the Russian outside jail while battling against extraordinary men and powers. In the meantime, in the United States, a hazardous force covered sometime in the past stirs and undermines the whole Earth. Netflix has guaranteed that this fourth offer will be the greatest and most startling season to date. Right at the end of the trailer, there's a noise that sounds like a Geiger counter or a bird tweeting. But fans believe this is actually the sound of a Demogorgon screeching far off in the distance. In case you've forgotten, the Demogorgon is the open-faced toothy monster Eleven destroyed at the end of Season 1. The Soviets, despite suffering a colossal setback, are not done yet. They have a Demogorgon in captivity probably evident that the gate hasn't been properly shut, 
but simply stalled. Or Demogorgons are able to open their own mini gates, tears in the fabric of reality. Viewers have never really understood the Demogorgon, and Season 4 may answer several questions regarding the monsters. Number 5. The Railway First of all, it's very disheartening that the prisoners have to construct the railway during winter when it's super cold and the ground is hard. For those who don't understand this, it snows most of the time in Russia, so the prisoners don't really have a choice. There's definitely a lot of scary looking people with big guns supervising the railway construction who are ready to shoot the prisoners if they make any complaint. Many fans have speculated that the focus on the railway track in the trailer means it must be significant, and specifically that it could be the Russians building an entrance to the Upside Down. They could be building train tracks because they know that whatever is built in the real world has a duplicate version of itself in the Upside Down. By putting down train tracks, they could, in theory, have a train that can travel through the Upside Down. That should explain why the railway track is being built in the wilderness right in the middle of nowhere. Also, such tracks are usually not built to transport people, but strange cargo and sometimes weapons. We've established previously that the Upside Down can only be accessed at a specific place around the world, and the Russians may have discovered one of those places. One question we have, however, is why the Russians would allow Jim Hopper to work on something so sensitive? We all know that he's one smart guy, and he's definitely plotting something major while working on the tracks. Number 4. The American When viewers first saw the Russian guard referring to one of the prisoners as the American, many suggested that the American is Jim Hopper. Well, we're glad that Hopper's alive, and he's definitely one of the American prisoners, but probably not our American? Theories have been circulating Reddit, suggesting that the Hopper reveal in the trailer throws doubt on the idea that the American in the cell is Hopper. Now that Hopper has been revealed to be alive before the series has even started, it makes the cell scene at the end of Season 3 seem too obvious, and that the person in the cell could also actually be Dr. Martin Brenner, the man who experimented on Eleven. The theory goes that Brenner is now being used by the Russians for his scientific knowledge, and will make a comeback to the show in Season 4. Number 3. Different Places In the first teaser trailer, viewers were made to understand that most of the action would not take place in Hawkins, but there were clues that indicated that the crew might need to go back to Hawkins. The character of Nancy Wheeler worked at the Hawkins newspaper during the third season, and in the teaser, eagle-eyed fans noticed a Hawkins newspaper on the ground. Is Nancy Wheeler moving up in the news world after getting the scoop behind the latest Hawkins mystery? The fate of the paper was left in limbo after the death of two more of its staff, including the chief editor. As much as we have seen Russia in the second teaser, we have to assume that at least some of the scenes will still take place in Hawkins, but the teaser trailer makes it seem like we'll be going deeper into the Upside Down than ever before. In a statement shared by several online publications, the creator spoke of a new horror that is beginning to surface, something long buried and something that connects everything. This horror happens back in the United States where the gang is at, but likely not in Hawkins. Perhaps it happens where Eleven is relocated with the Byers family. The creator's statement suggests that Stranger Things Season 4 is going to get to the bottom of everything that has happened since Season 1. Fans may finally see the events or the reasons that led Dr. Brenner to experiment on children with powers. Since Upside Down and how it operates has also always been a mystery, we may finally get to understand how it works. Number 2. An Important Cameo As fans discovered, one of the guards is played by Tom Lashchiha, who also starred as Jogging Hagar, a faceless man on Game of Thrones. It's possible that La Chiha's role was simply a cameo, but it's also possible that Stranger Things cast him specifically for something big in Season 4. As the series has grown, so has the cast, and now that the show has reached its fourth season, it seems it's time for the Duffer Brothers to expand the setting far beyond the confines of Hawkins, thus allowing new actors like La Chiha to join the fray. We guess that Tom and David Harbour will cross paths several times in the fourth season. If his rule is as important as we imagine, he will either be the biggest obstacle in Russia, or he will be the person who will ultimately help Jim Hopper. And number one, release date. In the first short teaser released last year, there was a clock visible on a tree, which seems to be stopped on the time 1230. Many viewers have been speculating about what the clock could mean that has been teased in the trailer. Some fans have been reading into this as a potential teaser for the release date of the upcoming season. The release date could probably be on December 30th, 2020. Filming for Stranger Things Season 4 is well underway, with Lithuania being the first production location before continuing to Atlanta, Georgia until August. Some have also been speculating that the clock might be Hopper's Watch or could be Big Ben, but one of the biggest theories is that it is the Doomsday Clock. This is a symbol that represents the likelihood of a man-made global catastrophe through how close it is set to midnight. Given that the time on the clock seems to be very near to midnight, this could indicate an upcoming threat for the residents of Hawkins. The new series is predicted to be set in the mid-1980s, which was a time when the clock was situated very close to midnight thanks to the escalation of tension between the United States and the Soviet Union with the buildup of nuclear weapons. And that brings us to the end of this video. Did you notice any other clue? Let us know in the comments section below. This has been Riveted, and we publish amazing content daily.